A further 4K342P transloader's trucks each carry two missile reloads. The battery is controlled by a four-man crew in AK380P 6x6 command vehicle that can be deployed up to 15 miles away from each launcher. The vehicles are all-terrain capable, can deploy for launch in five minutes, and are made from a composite material that supposedly reduces their radar signature by a factor of 15 to 20. A Bastion P unit depends on other platforms to detect the presence of hostile ships, usually a monolith B over the horizon radar. However, it might also receive targeting data from drones, satellites, Tu-142 and Il-38 maritime patrol planes and Ka-31 naval helicopters. Once enemy ships are located and identified, the missiles are provided with GLONASS coordinates, the Russian GPS equivalent, and a solid fuel rocket booster propels the 3.4-ton Onyx missile into the air. The booster is then ditched and a liquid fuel ramjet motor takes over for sustained flight at roughly two and a half times the speed of sound. The P-800 can either approach at high altitude for a maximum range of 186 to 210 miles, or skim just 15 feet above the surface the entire way to minimize odds of radar detection, though only out to 75 mile range. Ships are moving targets, so in the terminal stage, a P-800 dives down and activates a monopulse radar seeker with a search angle of 45 degrees. The seeker has two modes, a passive, anti-radar seeker designed to home in on, cooperative, targets that have turned on their own active radar, and frequency hopping active radar seeker which can also supposedly identify stationary land targets. The seekers are claimed to be resistant to chaff decoys and radar jamming. The Onyx high speed makes it very difficult to shoot down in the terminal phase, and its 440 to 550 pound warhead could inflict crippling damage upon even a large warship. The Russian Navy operates an estimated 50 Bastion P batteries, operating alongside larger numbers of BAL Coast defense systems that use smaller, subsonic KH-35 missiles with a range of 160 miles. Starting with three batteries of the 11th Missile Artillery Brigade stationed at Anapa on the Black Sea. A Bastion-equipped 15th Brigade was later employed in Sevastopol on the Crimean Peninsula after it was seized by Russian Special Forces in 2014. A silo-launched Bastion S variant is also slated for activation in 2020 in the Utios Object 100 coastal defense fort on the Black Sea, which is built into the side of a cliff. Another three units are based around Novaya Zemlya defending Russia's North Sea Fleet. On the Pacific Ocean, the Bastion P has outfitted the 520th Coastal Artillery Brigade in Kamchatka, as well as units deployed on the Kuril Islands of I Turup and Kunishur, which are subject to a dispute with Japan. There are also at least two bastion launchers in the militarized enclave of Kaliningrad on the Baltic Sea. Russia has also exported two Bastion P batteries each to Vietnam, with 40 missiles, and Syria, with 72 missiles. India, meanwhile, has developed its own variant of the P-800 Onyx missile, the BrahMos cruise missile, which is deploying on air, sea and truck-based platforms. Adding a grain of salt to A2, AD hype in a separate blog post, Kaufman argues it's a mistake to put too much emphasis on the Bastion P, when maritime strike aircraft, most importantly the 222M3M bomber with the KH-32 cruise missile, as well as Su-24, Su-30, and Su-34 attack jet, followed by submarines and mines play a more important role in Russian maritime strategy. After all, these can range further ahead and pose a threat to blue water naval forces that wouldn't need to enter a range of coastal defense missiles at all. However, he concedes coast defense missiles might still pose a problem for navies based on the Baltic. The article notes that the monolith B over the horizon search radar's range is fairly limited, 56 to 155 miles, unless used against a cooperative target that's emitting radar signals, which it can detect up 280 miles away. Therefore, a Bastion P battery may be highly dependent on targeting data transmitted by an intelligent surveillance reconnaissance ISR, aircraft. Russia also has a few larger Podsolnik E and container over the horizon radars, OTHR, which might theoretically assist in targeting, but which are not integrated into the battery's command structure. Russia's Liana Maritime Reconnaissance Satellite Constellation could also theoretically provide naval targeting data. 
However, it currently consists only of three Lotto Signals Intelligence satellites, while its Pion NKS radar satellites have yet to be launched as of February 2020. Ultimately, Kaufman argues that the Bastion and BAL really constitute only the final line of defense in Russian maritime strategy, and are not part of some A2-AD master plan to shut down Axis.